Uh, Joel Firthlowe, then thank you, Minister, for bringing forward um, the statement uh, today. And, and in marking International Women's Day, and as outlined uh, by you, Minister, and by colleagues from across the chamber, it's really important, of course, that we continue to celebrate the achievements of, of women and girls uh, from right uh, across Wales. And, and on this day, as well, as, as outlined by uh, Seanad Williams, it's, it's, it's important to acknowledge how far Wales has come uh, with, with women's rights uh, and action being taken to create uh, more uh, equality. But, of course, there is uh, more to be done. And sadly, as we, as we know, the equality that we experience here in Wales is not the case uh, around the world. Uh, for example, there are still uh, 10 countries in the world where women uh, are not allowed to vote. And there are countries such as Afghanistan, Syria, Yemen, Pakistan, Iraq, where many basic freedoms and protections for women uh, are not currently in place. And we must continue to do our bit in Wales to see uh, this change. And I approach uh, and wanted to speak uh, briefly today, not just as a member of the Senate, but also as a father of three uh, young girls. I clearly have a personal interest in ensuring we continue to protect uh, women's rights and spaces uh, here in Wales. And in light of this, Minister, I wonder how you think the world that my daughters will experience in the future will be different to the world we see today as a result of the actions of the Welsh Government. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sam Rowlands. And it's always very, um, you know, it's, it's great when our male colleagues are also speaking up on International Women's Day. And we've had many debates and statements over the last uh, few weeks and months where you have, you know, made very powerful contributions across this chamber.